Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us once again to another devotional. Yet again, another one. And so we're going to jump in right into Proverbs 21. And we're going to read verse 30. And it's right here on the screen. You guys want to follow along? So it says, There is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord. So, you know, in other, in other words, many people say that miracles no longer exist, right? And so this is what this verse is trying to say, that there is no wisdom, there is no understanding, nor counsel against the Lord. There is nothing that can come against God. Nothing that, that will stop God from making something happen. Ha- happen. You know, there's no wisdom, you know, many times we, we limit God into, you know, if if somebody's dead, you know, the, our wisdom, our, our, you know, the, the understanding that we have, or, you know, our tradition says that that person is dead, he's a honor, but it's not like that in God's eyes, and we saw it, and we see it through and through and time again, on throughout the whole Bible, really, you know, there is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord, meaning God can do anything he wants, anything he pleases. If that's what his perfect will may be, you know, do you do you guys believe in miracles still? You know, because if you believe God, I hope you do, because our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So He made manna rain from heaven for forty years, and if He made an axe head flow on the water, and if He made a dead man rise again, and if He fed the five thousand men plus their families. people don't believe in miracles anymore is because we are expecting to see events such as those that happen in the Bible and we're expecting to see something great like that and even though I, I firmly believe that those miracles can still happen today I totally believe that the greatest miracle that we're able to witness and experience today is salvation you know salvation is not, it's not only calling yourself a Christian but salvation has to do with your soul and where you're spending eternity in big big deal that is a great miracle on its own is the salvation of a soul you know it's it's, when jesus saves a person the life of that person is completely and forever changed you know that is that is a great great miracle in itself we we, know we're looking for we're looking for such wonders and we're looking for such like amazing things you know but but we don't see that simply a soul being saved the bible says that there is and miracles.
miracles and things happening. It's just about being at the right place and being in the right church. But we are going to say I thank you so much for joining us once again. And, and uh, again, please help us to share this and, and spread the word of the